Hi guys, Daniel Hayes here. Today is the day where I head to Geelong Harley Davidson to view and pick up my completed, well I'm not going to be riding because it's pouring rain, but to view my totally finished Al Diablo Lowrider ST, number 391 of 1500 built in the world. There's about 40 in Australia. I'm lucky enough to own one and I've customized it this way. The bike is known for its color. It's a unique color. Hopefully I've got the balance right between accentuating the color and making that the primary thing about the bike but also putting Danny's unique style of uh, modifying a Harley Davidson and that's the beautiful thing that I love about Harleys is you can make it your own you know it's a fine balancing act I think the word I'm going to use for this build is understated I think that's what I've been able to accomplish I'm interested in your thoughts in the comments if you think I've gone too far or I haven't gone far enough or you think I've just nailed it for me owning a Harley Davidson is never about keeping it stock it's about uniquely customizing it to make it your own and that's what I'm trying to do let's go to John Harley That's my bike. We're not going to uncover it just yet. We're going to uncover it shortly. Okay. Fuck. Is that, oh, that's right. What, what have I got to be? Positive, don't I? Hello, Danny. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I haven't seen it yet. What are your thoughts on the build? It's all finished. Do you think, do you think we've done a, a good job? I think you've done a wonderful job, Danny. I, I didn't do anything. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did you see the Diablo build? You see it finished? Your red one? Yeah. Yes? What are your thoughts? I think it's beautiful. Can I, can I ask you a question about the build? I'm just getting everybody's thought. I'm just getting everybody's thoughts that have been involved in the build. You've been involved. You helped order the parts. You obviously stuffed that up quite a bit. I didn't order the parts, but anyway, I'll take the blame. Yeah, that's good. What, what, what do you think of the bike? The honest yeah, I thoughts. Think, I, I like it. I think it's tasteful. There's not been huge changes. It's all subtle, but it works and it ties in with everything else. I, I quite like it. I mean, people think that you shouldn't modify a, a, a you know, a numbered build, but Yep. I disagree. I think you should make everything your own. That's the best thing about Harley Davidson. Yeah, the paint scheme is what really the build's about because mm. apart from the paint scheme, it's pretty much a stock. Well, yeah, ST. I mean, it's the, the numbered the numbered bike really is just a, is just a paint scheme, and everything that you've done, I think, ties in with that with that factory paint. Shannon, the painter. G'day. What do you think of the paint? I mean, it was collectively it was their own. It was the shared, paint. shared ideas. The factory paint, or no, the painting that you did on it. Oh. Pretty, pretty basic, really. <laughs> do you, oh, gee, I just, I love the enthusiasm here. I mean, just, do you think, do you think we, we nailed it with the? Yeah, I reckon you have. Yeah. Did you see the paint on it? Ain't him? as good as my bike, but it's all right, yeah. All right, we're gonna well, let's uncover it. We're gonna uncover it, Webby. So here we go. We're about to uncover the bike. I haven't seen it for about a week. The guys have finished it. Um, let's just hope we've got it right. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna lift the cover off. You ready, Danny? Ready? Yeah, mate. Get ready. One, two, three, go. Oh, fuck. Hang on. That's not it. Um... <laughs>
let's just quickly talk about the paintwork. Mm -hmm. Just some coming closer. Yep. So obviously did this. So very subtle. Very can subtle. hardly notice it, which what is what you wanted. Yep. Which I wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay. You also did the wheels, yep. which you're happy with that. We think yep. it really. The pulley, the strut, fender struts. Fender struts. This. The dash. This here. Yep. Um, this is all now gloss. Mm -hmm. Gloss black, which I think just looks really tasteful. We've done the, the cap, which you've done a great job on. I know it's a small thing, but it, yeah. it's tasteful. Yep. Um, we've also done, which is great. Now, oh, they look, mate, they look so good. So remember the lenses, they said they were smoked. To us, they didn't look smoked, did they? No. Nah. So you've actually painted these? Yeah. But they don't even look painted. No. Can we see what they look like with the... Um... I mean, how much better? Seriously, Shannon, you absolutely nailed that. So they don't change the brightness of it at all. Sorry? They don't change the brightness. Yep. They don't tone it down. Yep. But when they're off, they were completely black. Yep. Webby was really in charge of all the mods we did. I mean, I guess it was what I wanted, but Webby would have told me if I was totally getting it wrong. Let's go over them. Um, so we've put the fork covers on. Yeah, so the lower fork covers. So we've just hidden the chrome in behind there. Um, okay. Headlight. Let's turn that off. That's what I did. Yeah, so the... How painful was that? Yeah, it was pretty painful. So that's actually not designed for this model. So Colin spent a few hours adapting and making plates to get that to actually fit. So that's a Daymaker off oh, pre-17, so twin cam style headlight that we've adapted to fit in there, which has just got the black background. Okay, okay. These, these are called um, Memphis Shades. Come closer. Yeah, so Memphis Shades, well, they're a bark buster or hand guard, just keeps the, keeps the wind off the hand, but sort of blackens it out from the front. What do you think? Uh, again, I think it's tasteful. Um, so yeah. fr from the front, you've got this look where you've got the black here and then it sort of blends out here, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I just think, it, for me, I think it gives it a tougher stance. That's just my view. Yeah. Something we haven't talked about are these. Is the shorty, what are these? Yeah, so shorty adjustable levers. So they're fully adjustable. You can move it through for your hand width. You'll be, you'll be right in with your little pen bearing hands, won't you? Yep. We changed the grips, which yeah, so look a lot. A, that was a last minute change. I mean, those silver grips just, it wasn't quite the silver that we thought it was gonna be when it came in. So it didn't really tie in with anything, but I think the black edge cut style really worked. Mate, mate, couldn't be happier. Yeah. And let's, so we've got the thrashing bars. Well, thrashing uh, risers. Fresh and risers. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure where you got the bars from. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure either. Yeah, so it. stainless steel, they're, they're original rise or original bend style bars. So they're exactly the same as standard style bend. Um, you've just got extended thrash and risers in there. Okay, all right. Um, obviously, okay, let's let's go this side of the bike. So we've got the- uh, The Trask, Trask air cleaner. Trask um, air cleaner, which, did you think that looks good? Yeah, I mean, it's, see, see, see how long it stays clear for, but okay. I think it looks good now. Okay, yep. All these have been painted. Um, bolts have been blacked out. Um, here, they've not, I mean, they've not all been blacked out. Like we could black these out. I probably will do that down the track. Bassani exhaust. So Bassani Ripper exhaust. This was a fairly new Bassani exhaust system on the market. It looks really, really good. Um, and it performed well on the dyno. Yep. So, Okay, let's talk about the pegs. Now these, we changed these at the last minute. Yeah, so changed them at the last minute as well. How um, much better? Mate, it's, it's, it's heaps better. So, I mean, the block ties in with everything else. Um, it looks good, they're grippy. They're a Harley Davidson uh, foot peg. We've got the Saddleman seat, um, and they custom made this for me. So thanks, Saddleman, um, with the million dollar Bogan logo there. Okay, so the indicators are LEDs, um, and these are smoked. Um, Obviously, that the cover here, which looks, I think we, that looks good. I mean, it's yeah. a little thing. It's, it's, it's the little things that really tie in. I mean, that flows with the bike more. It carries the shape of the rear guard. Yep. It makes a big difference. Small changes like that. Yep. And again, before you say it, I probably will black out these, these nuts. And th there's some blacking, more blacking out I can do. Yeah, obviously, yeah, the painting got the 391. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we've got 127 horsepower, 140 pounds of torque. So this is going to be a reasonably quick low rider ST. Yeah, I mean the 117s are, are a great engine standard, but this is just really unleashed potential. All it needs is that cam, unleash the beast. Yeah. So, do you rate this bike? I value your opinion. Yeah, I mean I, I love the thing standard. I think that's one of the best paint schemes that's come out of the Harley Davidson factory, which you haven't changed, but you've just made everything else complement that yep. that red and that that El Diablo or or wicked red paint. Yep. Awesome.
If you had this for sale in the shop, as is, do you think it would sell? Oh, I reckon I'd sell another one of them tomorrow, but, um, or today, in the next five minutes. Do you reckon you could sell that straight away? Yeah, of course. With, with, it, with that build? A hey, salesman of my caliber, I'd sell anyone. <laughs> I'll ask you. Hey, Warren, can I ask you a question? Warren, yeah. if that was on the floor today, with that build, would you be able to sell it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, that is one motorbike, fully customised. I'm happy it's done, paid for, everything's done. Um, I just want to say thanks to the sponsors. Colin, I'm done, I'm going. Thank hey, you. You right, did a great man. job. No, I'm very, very happy. Thank you. <laughs> it's all right. No, it was, so it's awesome. So you're going to ride it? No, I'm not riding it home because it's raining. Tell me, put it in a van, bring it home for you. No, I appreciate it, but you probably I'll leave it on your floor for a few days. Is that okay? People can... Oh, yeah, as long as people don't want to sit on it. Yep. No, actually nobody does, they just want photos. Yeah, all right, I'm out of here. Bye See you later. See ya. See you guys, thank See you, later. thanks help, thanks Webby, thank you. Okay, let's go. Another bike built.